I thought I'd make a video about this Netonix uh, Ethernet switch. Um, it's okay. It's uh, pretty sweet. Uh, it's kind of priced in the value segment. Not for like home user value, but for like ISP value segment. Can't remember exactly how much it was, but it's uh, very economical for what you're getting. It's uh, I'll talk I'll talk about the specs a bit more later, but uh, it's got PoE built into it as well as a current meter, so it can tell you the amount of power that you uh, you're using for each of the ports. Um, it also supports 24 volt or 48 volt PoE, and it's uh, pretty handy. Uh, you don't have to use the PoE either. It's also has two SFP ports. Uh, for gigabit uh, fiber, just put in whatever optics you want there. It's got a console port with serial, and uh, it's pretty straightforward, compact. The the fan isn't too bad, but it's uh, certainly not as quiet as other equipment. And uh, one neat thing about it, which is one of the reasons why I like this switch, is uh, not only okay, it's uh, passive PoE only. But it seems to uh, work just fine with Cisco's uh, PoE standard, basically, for whatever their pinout is, uh, for the standard one. It uh, seems to actually work great. I've got a phone here, and I can go and call various extensions on my phone system. It's uh, very handy having one out in the shed. This is the status screen. It gives you most of the information you might want at a glance, such as how much power is in use, the names on the ports, uh, the ports page. So here's the ports page. Uh, you can set the PoE voltage as well as description names. Please note the switch is for jumbo frames only. Ensure you have a matched MTU on your whole path to avoid fragmentation hurting your performance. Now here's what you came here for, the VLAN page. So I've defined three VLANs. VLAN 7 is the management plane, 25 is for the, VLAN, the access plane uh, where I have a phone and a computer as well as an access point, uh, and VLAN 20 is the security cameras. Uh, 7, 8, and 10 are on the uh, security cameras. They're on the untagged ports, so you just plug it in as normal, and they're on the new VLANs. Uh, these, are on, these are switch port access ports uh, on VLAN 20. So they've been placed into the uh, network for security cameras. Uh, there's, they only are trunked back on port 11. They don't need to talk to the access point trunk, so it's only on port 11. So port 12 connects to the access point. Um, it needs a trunk for the management VLAN and the shed VLAN, so the shed access devices are on ports 2 and 9. Um, you can configure uh, what VLANs you want to go over the what trunk uh, when you check out the trunk port box, checkbox. So you can do uh, ranges with a dash or you can use commas for specific VLANs. Uh, port 5 has been configured with access to management plane um, that the switch is on. The user interface is really easy to use. It's uh, Actually, one of the easiest to use ones I've ever seen. Uh, even the most novice person in the world could probably use this thing. And especially after watching this video, I have no issues configuring it. Uh, the simple network management protocol functionality works nicely uh, with Libra NMS as well. Here's a quick overview of it in Libra NMS. Uh, most of you are probably only going to really use it in this. Uh, unless you have some issues with the site, I can't see why you'd ever log into the device again unless it was to change settings. But you probably won't be doing much of that. Thank you. Uh, enjoy the rest of this video.